Hey everybody, welcome to Home with the Halsteads and welcome to my kitchen. I'm excited this morning. I'm making sausage balls and I want you to just come right on in here and make them with me. This is a very easy recipe. It has four ingredients and you're going to love it. So let me tell you what those four ingredients are. I'm starting out with one pound of sausage. This is Jimmy Dean sausage. I'm not advertising for Jimmy Dean, but I do like the sausage. And I'm using hot today. You could use mild if you wanted to, but I'm using the hot to give it that extra kick. And then I'm going to use one half cup of breadcrumbs. These are just plain breadcrumbs. If you wanted to use a flavor, you could, but I like the plain because I want to maintain the sausage texture and flavor in this recipe. So one half cup of plain breadcrumbs. I'm using one egg, one egg, and I'm using one cup of grated um, cheddar cheese, and that's it. So let's get busy and let's make these sausage balls. Okay, we're starting with our sausage. I've taken it out of the wrapper and put it in this bowl. And the next thing that I'm going to add are the breadcrumbs. So I'm just going to put them in like that. And I'm going to be using my hands today to mix this. So I have on gloves and I have an extra pair here just in case I need it. Uh, and then I'm going to add an egg. And I'm just going to take a fork and kind of beat this up a little bit before I pour it in gonna add the egg and then I'm going to add our cheese I'm just gonna put it all in there together mix it all at one time you could mix it separately but there's no need to do that so now I'm just gonna take my hands and mix this around I do keep gloves in my kitchen I um, don't use them for every food that I cook but when I'm working with um, ingredients and uh, foods that I do like to use my hands um, then I just go ahead and put on a pair of gloves as I said earlier this recipe um, doesn't add any kind of flour or um, other ingredients like that that gives it a doughy taste uh, I know a lot of the recipes which are really good recipes uh, call, calls for Bisquick or something like that and uh, those are good those are very good but this one just gives you that sausage uh, taste so I've got this mixed up and now we're just going to roll it out into about one inch balls and I've got a cookie sheet over here that I have lightly sprayed I don't think you need to spray it um, because this sausage is very greasy and I'm just going to take a little bit like that and I'm going to roll it and put it on our cookie sheet. I have preheated our oven to 350 degrees. Now there are two ways that you can cook these sausage balls. You can cook them in a skillet on top of the stove on medium heat and just keep turning them until they get done. Or you can put them in the oven and bake them in the oven. And that's what I'm going to do this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and continue working and rolling out our sausage balls. I'm going to put them in the oven and bake them. And when they get done, I'll come back and we'll look at them. And of course, we'll sample them too. Okay, our sausage balls are done. They are ready to come out of the oven. I'm going, you can see the uh, grease that is cooked out of them. I'm going to transfer them onto another uh, tray, just like I've got here, or baking dish, and I'm going to put paper towels down and put the sausage balls on top of them. And I'm going to let them cool, but I'm not going to let them cool completely before I take them off of the paper towels because I don't want them to stick to the paper towels. Sometimes they'll have a tendency to do that. So I'm going to take them out and we'll be eating sausage balls in just a few minutes. 
Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. We have beautiful, delicious sausage balls that are ready to eat. This recipe turns out between four and five dozen, which is a great yield for a pound of sausage. And also, um, remember that you can cook these in a skillet on top of the stove or you can cook them in the oven. If you cook them in a skillet, you're going to constantly be turning them and they're going to kind of be brown on all sides. If you cook them in the oven on a cookie sheet, then they're going to be a little bit browner on the bottom, as you know from experience in cooking sausage balls. Let's try one. Mm. That is so, so delicious. Pretty hot, too. <laughs> I, um, I love this recipe because, as I said, it has other ingredients in it, but it doesn't overshadow. The ingredients don't overshadow the sausage, and that's what you want to taste when you cook good sausage balls. I'll see you again really, really soon. Have a blessed day.